I'm very excited. I, uh, I, I have, uh, I have more lights going on. So last right. week, I so basically I added, yesterday you were fiddling. Well, not so much. So huh. yeah, I, I got, I got this one. It was really I did this today. I got this one last uh-huh. week, but this one here. This one here, which is kind of just still a little bit in frame. I need to work it just a little bit more, but I was hurrying before we got started. It's lovely. And then I got little it, softeners. It's nice. It's brighter. I got little socks to put on the key lights, <laughs> and uh, they're cute. They're little. They're like little bonnets. Let me show you. They look like this. They're like little Aww. bonnets that you put over, and it softens the light so you can brighten it up without it, like, um, reflecting as bad <laughs> off of my goddamn bald head. So I was very, I was very excited about well, that. Well, uh, two things. Yep. One, I got a um, birthday card from my father this morning. Okay. It is so cute. I'm listening. I'm it's sorry. like, um, well, I'm trying to show you too. Oh, well, okay. I see. It's a, uh, is that a dog in a Darth Vader outfit? Yes. Or, okay. Just making sure. And you open it up and... Mm-hmm. Says from the bark side. Wow. And it's barking the Imperial March. <laughs> that does that does make I you very that happy. Hilarious. Does it not? That's yeah. that's fantastic. I do believe that's one of my favorite cards that he has sent me. Well and, and, and two. It, I, I guess it must no, have been your ahead. birthday. It must have been your birthday. Did I miss your birthday? Yes, yeah, you did. It was Tuesday. Well, happy big damn birthday with 55 this year. <laughs> Still younger than Cheryl. I mean, oh, okay, 51. 51. No, 43. Um, uh, well, sorry. I, I know it's not polite to, to ask those sorts of things. There were, uh, oh, I forgot to, you are patience personified today. Look at you go. I have been past couple of days, yeah. I know, yeah. Everybody has been. I appreciate it. I've been off a couple of days. It's just it was a weird couple of days, and then we had an internet issue, and that is what it is too. It's it's rather. You remember what I was telling you? Like it's cold as a witch's tit. It's colder than that right now. It's like ten you just degrees said out. There was a lot of snow. There's a bit of snow, and there's a wind. The wind cuts through anything that you. So, anyways, I'm. It's so cold yeah. that I'm not even enjoying it very much. So uh, we have a bunch of stuff anyway, to get into today. Hold yeah, on the, before uh, we get to that. Okay. Second thing. Uh, Toki had his cardiologist appointment on Wednesday. Okay. And basically, the cardiologist said that the dude mm. that told him he wasn't going to be able to walk again is full of shit. Really. And that apparently no. Buddy in the medical field around here likes that doctor. Well, fuck it. So they're going to go forward. So they're going to go forward and get the prosthetics. Oh, excellent. That's good news. But I did not <clears throat> even share that with anybody yet because I wanted to announce it here. It's a world breaking announcement from little <laughs> Lisa Gramley. Patients personified, you might say. Um, let's, uh, let's pull these up. The first one we had this week of new releases. That's not it. That's not it. <laughs> Just give me a second. There we go. That's it. Look at that. Ha. Ha. Stick Shift. Um, Big Bull Mechanics Book 3 by K.M. Newhold. Narrated by Tim Page and Liam DeCosmo. You know, that man's picture makes me think of something. <clears throat> we are, uh, I've told this, I've talked about this in Discord, but uh, I want to talk about it here in case anyone feels like, like if you feel the urge take advantage of the P.O. box in the next week or two. We are doing a photo shoot where I'm going to be redoing our intro. You know, the intro with oh. the books. Go. So with oh. this, we're going, to, we're going to be doing as pictures of me. As long as you me. don't get rid of the music. Well, I don't know yet. But pictures of me in all different outfits because I'm an actor and I play all these different roles, right? So the idea is like me in a bathrobe or, or me. Oh, no. Uh, I, I, might, I, might do the, I might do the male <laughs> impreg thing and have like a baby one for one. <clears throat> I'm, okay. I'm getting all sorts of weird outfits, like Halloween outfits. Like I'm going to be a nurse, I think. I'm, I'm going to wear like the leather daddy shit. All these. There's going to be maybe 50 or 100 photos. I need outfits. If people want to send... Trace, can you track down our P.O. box again and put it in the comments, maybe in Facebook here? And I'll, I'll, uh, I'll look it up here before the end of the... Let me... Uh, John Solo. Does anybody know my damn P.O. box? 
No. I have it in, I have it in one <laughs> note. Hang on, hang on. I have it in one note. I'll send it back to you when I'm done with them. Just send me your weirdest costumes. I need them. Let me see here. P.O. Box. <clears throat> Sorry I to interrupt any... the show. I uh, John Solo P.O. Box <laughs> eight five nine Sunbury. That's S U N B U R Y Ohio four three zero seven four. If you send me an outfit <clears throat> and I, I wear it in the photo shoot, I will send it back to you and I will thank you on the air profusely uh, for making art. It's going to be awesome. So, anyways, getting back into this. Sorry, that man reminded me of that. I was kind of hoping. I was like, no, I got. I hope you were not doing a shirtless one. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not doing a shirtless I don't think one. Don't you worry. See that. No, no one can handle. <laughs> The chest hair that happens here, it's not. Now, I might show some chest hair, but I'm not going to go, like, completely shirtless. That's ridiculous. And really, <clears throat> that's like crossing the streams. Are you familiar with that concept? Mm-hmm. From Ghostbusters, you remember the crossing the streams? Yeah. Like, yep. you don't cross the streams. You don't show John Solo shirtless. The next one we have is an audio clip. This one came in from our very own Declan Winters and for our favorite lesbian from Texas, Kelly Fox. Hey, this is Zach Alleman, also known as Declan Winters, bringing you a snippet from Warwick by Kelly Fox. I understand that sleeping with the boss is a bad idea. To be fair, I was already sleeping with my coworker. And yeah, we all live in the same bunkhouse on a ranch in the middle of the central Texas hill country, but we're professionals. We can handle it. Besides, I've made it pretty darn clear that I am in no way a relationship guy. Am I trying to hide a mountain of pain after losing the unrequited love of my life? Sure, but we don't say that part out loud. I'm just trying to figure out who gave Joaquin and Colt permission to go off and start something on their own. I thought our boss-slash-coworker arrangement was pretty good, especially after that impromptu three-way. But now they're excluding me. It almost feels like they're trying to make me jealous. Not that I'm jealous or whatever. Besides, I could never love someone as much as I loved Renee. There isn't a single person in the world who could take her place. Huh. Is it possible that I need two people to show me how to love again? Two dicks are better than one. Two <laughs> dicks are better than one. The, when uh, I got this <clears throat> and listened to it before I sent it, it made me cry. It made you cry? I, the sample the yeah. sample that Declan just sent in made you cry? Yep. I mean, I didn't have that reaction to the it. but I will. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> We'll yeah. do that to you. Declan is knocking it out of the park, by the way. Uh, he's sounding really, yeah, he really is. good. The next one's also an audio clip, and on this one, we actually put together, uh, Kale Williams was kind enough to send this in for us for the next one. And by the way, thank you uh, for sending that in. And Kelly, congratulations. We miss you around here. We need more lesbians in our life. Um, <clears throat> the next one for Kale, um, Kale uh, sent this in, and he, he sent us a uh, uh, basically a sample snippet that you're going to hear on Audible as well, and an intro. So here you go. Enjoy. Thanks, Melissa and John. This is Kale Williams, and here's a sample from Moving On by Felice Stevens. It was never pleasant to lie on the wet spot, and even less so when you were alone. A creaking sound awakened Sean Lovett, and when he opened his eyes, he screamed. The sky was falling, and his life flashed before his eyes. What the f- Oh, my God! Stark naked, Sean jumped up, narrowly escaping the torrent of water pouring from a huge hole over his bed. Booming thunder and lightning shook the over 100-year-old five-story building he lived in while rain and hail pelted the windows. The howl of the wind from the opening in the roof made it hard to concentrate, but from the amount of water spilling into the small studio he'd lived in for the past three years... Sean knew he only had a few minutes to grab whatever he could shove into his backpack and a slightly damp overnight bag. He pulled on a t-shirt and stepped into boxers and jeans. God, everything he owned was in this small space, but he remembered to save the most important thing, the picture of himself and his sister. That and his laptop were all he was able to manage. The rest was a wash, literally. Alarms blared, and Sean heard people yelling from downstairs, Fire! There's a fire in the basement! Get out! 
After shoving his feet into mismatched flip-flops, he ran out the door, closing it just as the entire building swayed on its crippled frame. Well, I'm sure as hell not coming home anytime soon. I believe... Uh... Now, he sent the whole five-minute one in. I cut it down a little bit. I think that's perfect. Dude, that cover is yeah. absolutely gorgeous. Uh, simplicity. It is. It's amazing. I and yes, I do have it, and I've got other stuff to listen to before that. But Yeah, Tracy said she just started this one as well. I suspect a lot of people are. Anytime Kale and Felice get together, it's, yeah, yeah we know what the world's listening to this week. So, next <laughs> we have, and uh, I'm, actually, I'm, I'm actually kind of excited about this one. Um, <clears throat> here we go. Oh, yeah, that one. Um, I lost my place, but that's okay. Don't lose your Todd, place. Todd, <laughs> Ten- Tangled Tentacles, Book Three by J.P. Sale. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Lisa Oliver, narrated by Kevy Earlywine. Well, well, Kevy Earlywine. I was talking to him the other day, and he <laughs> he, uh, he had to stop. He was like, "I'm sorry, I got to go back to narrating tentacles." And I thought, "Well, the world is going to be a better place." Well, Kevy Early Wine, recording some <laughs> tentacles. Congratulations there. Uh, that one came out on the 27th. Next, we had... Yeah. A to Z, Coda, Book 2 by Marie Sexton, narrated by John Solo. And I love Marie Sexton to death. This is a redo. This book was out before in audio. Um, and the author got the rights back, so I've been redoing the Coda series for her. We did the uh, first one, Promises, through DSP about a year and a half ago, something like that. And then I just got to do this for Marie directly. Oh, That's speaking good. of DSP, mm-hmm. um, aren't you going to be doing Cats series soon? Yep. K- uh, L- the Kale Hires? I think, yeah, and I think I actually can give you a date on that. Not that it matters. I mean, we can keep on going on. But uh, yes, uh, in the next month, in a month and a half, somewhere in there, I actually have it coming up. It's been due for quite a while. But, yeah, exactly. Uh, but anyways, next we had. Uh, this is a re release of Running with Scissors by Ellie Witt, narrated by Michael Furiolo. And that's the name. That's, She's I got a bunch, of, a bunch. bunch of them coming out. Yeah. A uh, bunch of them re-releasing. The 30th. Uh, the next we had was, oh, look at this. Yay. And I had this too. Uh, the Wit Sex Series, complete box set uh, by Patricia Logan, narrated by Michael Dean. Little Patty Logan working with Chorizo. That's freaking awesome. Next we had. Changing Faces, Criminal Intention, Season 1, Episode 4 by Cole McKay, narrated by Kurt Bonham. What's up, Kurt? Been a long time since I talked to him. Next, we had Soul, Learning to Love, Book Two by Con Riley, narrated by Cornell Collins. How much do they have to pay like to get Depp. Johnny Depp? Yeah, that's amazing to me. <laughs> <laughs> that guy looks like Johnny Depp. Jinx. Uh, yeah, that's amazing. That guy's going to get a lot of work real soon. Look at that, and also yeah. a very well done cover. It seems like I'm seeing a trend now of a. Uh, Less is more. Hey, I mean, this closed. is look at the background. There's no yeah. That's a gorgeous. Mm-hmm. Whoever is the artist on that? In and my he's got opinion, clothes on too. So yeah, I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. Uh, next we had <clears throat> twin tuition lions of Locust Falls, Book Four by Jada Marks, narrated by Eddie Harara. Harara. Oh my ours. So <laughs> Harara. My. Goodness gracious. Oh, um, have you found Willie yet? Uh, yeah, yeah. I have see. He's, he's, for Willie he's yet? going. He's going sideways under the butt bongs. <laughs> it's fantastic. No, he's actually in the bag. Okay. Yeah, That's behind the butt bongs. Yeah, I see it. I see it. Under. I see him right there. <clears throat> he's actually under. He's under the butt bongs. <clears throat> He's hiding. Yeah, a lot of lot is in the crowd on Facebook here. And she mentioned that there's not many clothes involved in this particular picture. And Lada, I tend to agree with you. Um, <laughs> the, these men can not only afford shirts, they can't afford under, <laughs> underwear either. No underwear. <laughs> <clears throat> and they uh, yeah, only have, well, okay. it, it's because they don't have time to have a job. All they do is work out and lay on the beach. But uh, next we <laughs> had... Sin and Supplication. By Kai Bartley and M.D. Gregory, narrated by Conan Kennedy. 
Nice. I like that name. There's a little bit of politician and a little bit of barbarian in there, which is awesome. Next, we have the last audio clip of the day. This one is from me, and I'm sorry in advance. Good morning, you squirrely little fuckers. Hey, how are you? It's John Solo. <clears throat> I am recording this uh, to to uh, to promote which one? Oh, this is T. H. Compton. Yeah, beautifully built. Beautifully built. Uh, this is built for you, book one by our very own T. H. Compton, the mother of Con Solo, and uh, we had a lot of fun doing this. It was a long time coming. I had this on my schedule for a while, but we just couldn't get to it. And uh, I'm excited. You guys are gonna love this. I'm gonna read the summary. <clears throat> Can you find love when you don't believe anyone would want you? I'm going to give a spoiler. They do. Logan, and I'm going to do this in Logan's voice, you see. I can be cute sometimes. I mean, I'm a chubby introvert, but I flaunt it when I feel it. I just don't feel it that often. I've had a few nights of fun, but I've never had a boyfriend. You remember, uh, you remember when you did your first video? Well, anyways, <clears throat> no one ever wanted that for me. Tonight, the hottest man I have ever seen just asked me out, and I actually laughed in his face. He didn't seem to think it's funny, and he wants to take me to dinner, not just to bed. I have one question. Why? Cain. I just asked out the most charming man, and he giggled. I've watched him all night long, and he is such an oxymoron, adorably fierce and subtly spectacular. I don't know what it is about him that I am drawn to, but I want him. I don't normally do relationships, but I'll give up all the numbers in my little black book to see him again. I just wish he would believe me. Beautifully Built is a contemporary M.M. romance with a plus-size twink with a big butt struggling with self-acceptance, and the gorgeous ginger bar owner who sounds suspiciously like Lando Calrissian, who can finally make him see how beautiful he is. This book includes age gap, some nerdy love, and one monstrous... Well, you be the judge. Join the employees and patrons of Built Bar as they find love for themselves and each other. You guys are going to love this. There's a strange thing that happens in this book, though. <clears throat> the mom, the mom, for some reason, continuously wants to... Uh, look in on the, the sex of, but anyways, <clears throat> you guys are going to love it. Have fun. Enjoy yourselves. See you soon. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> yeah. Anyways, you can't, I'm not to be held responsible when you ask me to do these things. I'm not to, it's <laughs> your fault. You asked that when I uh, was, well, a I knew this fun. was going to be coming out <clears throat> a new, uh, this week and I wanted you to do this one instead of the A to Z one because it's mm -hmm. Taylor and... Well, yeah, we love Taylor it's... Death. I mean, it's not that we don't love Marie, but, I mean, Tay's one of our very own, so, of course. Um, and, yeah, uh, thank you for letting me do it. It was a ton of fun. I can't wait to do more. Uh, next, we had... <laughs> Rushed Christopher, a, f a The Four novella by Sloan Kennedy, narrated by Michael Dean. And, again, a beautiful cover this kind of trend towards simplicity. I'm not a cover designer, but I see a trend. Also, there's a trend that uh, Cariso is working. Next, we had... <laughs> yes, he is. I kid you not. <clears throat> Magical Mates Book 3 by Macy Blake, also narrated by Michael Dean. That one came out on the 31st, and next we had... Edison... Warlocks of Amherst, Book 6 by Taylor Ryland, narrated by Michael Ferriolo. Oh, no, 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 no. And that one came out on the 1st. Next we had... That one was actually a good cover, too. And then we have Portals and Puppy Dogs. <laughs> ah, cute book. Cute title. Hedge Witches, Lonely Heart Club, Book 2. Wow. By Amy Lane, narrated by Lee Phillips. Yay, Amy Lane, love you. Uh, next, we and had a cute little puppy dog on the yeah, cover. Yeah, yeah, can't miss it. That... Righteous Eight, Words of Power, Book Four by V. K. Fox, narrated by Chelsea Stevens. Now, is that an MM romance or a? It was. All right, cool. Uh, and that one came out on there. the first. Next, we had. Unkinked, It's a Kink Thing, by M.C. Roth, narrated by Shannon and Gunn. 
Wow. All right. Now, what we have been waiting for, here we go. What did you listen to this week, Lewis <clears throat> Gremlin? Actually, quite a few of us listened to this It's not this week. unusual to be loved by an uh, alien. <laughs> I did ask Greg if he tried to sing that. He goes several times. You have to. Like every book I do, there's some <laughs> yeah. sort of song ringing in my head based on the title. In some way, shape, or form, it inevitably it happens. And this is an obvious pick. That's exactly what's going to happen. Go ahead, please. Um, Tell me about this tentacle love affair. <clears throat> I gave this one four bullets. Okay. It's a new new to me author and series. Um, I think it's also a new series. Uh, Chloe Archer is amazing. This bur- this book w- has a perfect mix of funny and sexy, and I loved every moment mm, nice. of it. Nice, nice. <clears throat> and Greg did an amazing job with this. Sexy times were hot as hell. Of course, there was tentacles. And apparently the promise of even hotter, sexy times to come. <clears throat> I loved all the TV and movie references and pop culture references in this. Uh, it's River and Kai. River's the human sci-fi nerd who has a, I guess, a, a blog. He does this series with a a guy in a tentacled alien and Kai is the tentacled alien but <laughs> all right so you gave that one four and bullets d- yes and it does end on a cliffhanger but the book is just awesome I can't re- recommend this book or audio un- just a- enough well and Greg is amazing it was, he's good he's gonna it, be a fantastic this book, pick she's uh, Chloe <clears throat> is an amazing writer she uh, have, uh, Emma and Tracy have listened to this twice. Yeah. Yeah. That's what they're saying in the comments right now, which is awesome. Congratulations on, uh, is this new out? I take it. Um, it came out a couple weeks ago. Okay. Awesome. Uh, now what you read this week in the meantime, looks like <laughs> there was a, a theme going on there. First you had. Yeah, I, I, Continued with the Necessary Evil series and went with Moonstruck. I gave this one five bullets. Hey-o. It's book three. It's book three of the series. And Only is Only Only. I don't. How am I pronouncing it? Uh, I think it's Only James. Okay. On, yeah. She's yeah, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. I'm hey, Only. I'm sorry if I got your name wrong. <laughs> Me too. She's quickly becoming. One of my new favorite authors. Tracy said it's Only, and she's the authority on things. She's very smart. Okay, Only. So, yeah, I was right. Yeah, she's becoming quickly one of my favorite authors. And the series is just amazing. Nice. Um, this This one was with Atticus <clears throat> and Jericho. It's basically psychopath meets psychopath. Um... It was a bit of a role reversal, but it was still a great book, and I loved it. There was a ton of dirty talk, so it was just quite amazing. And we got to meet new characters, and also some other things were slowly falling into place in this one. What? What are you staring at? You're looking at me funny. Are you I'm still looking at, at you funny? funny. You're looking at me no. a little funny. I'm just making sure. All right, calm down over there. Uh, next, you went on with this series. Here we go. <laughs> yes, Headcase. This was a double double bullet breaker. hey oh <laughs> So the Amazon driver had to come to your house twice this week to, to drop off new listening <laughs> materials for you? Sure, we'll go with that. Um, I get it. <clears throat> I think that's the highest I've ever given a book. Get so, your, uh, yeah. get, your, get your fruit intake this week to keep your potassium up, and you got to get the electrolytes in shape for an experience. Yeah, bananas and water. Exactly. <laughs> uh, um, this is my currently my favorite book of the whole series. All the things I love: the primal play, the hot, rough, angry sex, and a little bit of BDSM. 
A little bit of BDSM. I like the way you say that, by the way. A little bit of BDSM. Like, that's <laughs> Thank wonderful. You, I think. I need, to, um, I, need to, I need to grab that sample. I'm going to get that sample so I can have it. And a little bit of BDSM. Just a sprinkling. <laughs> just a... <laughs> okay. Um, fine. That works. You got my. You got another one of me going. I don't like that. So I don't like that. Anyways, sorry. You should go have ahead. two more. But anyway. So yeah, after you passed out several times listening to this book. Um, <laughs> yeah, Asa and Zane meet at a party where things escalate very quickly. Uh, there's a little bit of kidnapping involved, and then meeting the family. Just a little bit of BDSM. <laughs> But yeah, I just really loved that one. It it went it did make me cry though. Yeah, there you gotta be Toward careful of that. Congratulations. Well, because of the uh, subject matter. Well, it, you did a great job this week is what I'm trying to say. You did a great job putting all this together. You did a great job getting all the samples together and thank you for your patience yesterday with me. I appreciate it. Um, thank you to I'm everyone a that person. Uh, yeah, patience personified. Thank you to everyone that sent in clips. We really do appreciate it. Um, and you know, anytime you want to send in clips, if you have a release and you know you're going to have one, just send them to Alyssa and she'll get them on the show. Have fun. We shall see you next week. Wave to the camera.